ending in the green today on Wall Street, a sign that they could finally be on track towards positive gains. Just this month alone, the S&P 500 is up 4%, the Nasdaq up 6%. And joining us now is News Nation business contributor Lydia Moynihan. Lydia, we want to ask, we've been tracking this roller coaster ride that stocks have been on, and things have been looking up on Wall Street this month. What is fueling that turnaround, and how long could it last? Yeah, it is certainly good news. It's good to see green on the screen. Um, you know, I think people have just been glad that this week, which we're seeing a spate of earnings, has not been Armageddon. Um, and so I think people feel a sense of relief. But I also want to say, nor is it Shangri-La. And these are certainly better numbers than what we've been seeing the last few months. But I want to note, we're still down substantially from all of our highs. The Dow is down around 13.9% from record highs. The Nasdaq is down 27.8% from record highs. And the S&P is down 18.3% from record highs. So again, it's, it's good to see a little bit of a bump, but I think the question is, is this gonna be a sustained rally that will continue? Um, or is this just sort of a, a brief little blip before we continue downwards? And, and again, I think there's just so many questions investors have about recession, inflation, et cetera, et cetera. And I think until we have more certainty about those, we will continue to see some wobbles on Wall Street. Yeah, Lydia, that's good context. And even as Wall Street is saying things may be turning around, we know inflation is still at record highs, gas still around 450 a gallon nationally. So when will those gains actually translate to relief for the average American? Yeah, there's certainly a disconnect between what we see on Wall Street um, and what we see on Main Street. And I think any, any sort of new policy that we're talking about being implemented, we're, we're hoping maybe gas prices will continue to come down. Anything that we're looking at is going to take a substantial amount of time to really be felt, right? We're talking about bringing inflation down. Um, that will happen eventually, but we're not talking about that happening next month. We're talking about the rate of inflation going from 9% to 2% over the span of several years. And so there is a bit of a crunch in the short term where we're still paying high prices at the grocery store, and now we're paying more money on our credit card rates and our, our mortgages. Um, so things will improve eventually, but I think there is still going to be some pain. The good news, though, is commodity prices have been coming down, um, and, and a lot of analysts look Looking at that space continued, I uh, think that we will continue to see that trend. All right, Lydia, we feel it. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.